A GTA couple wants clinical trials to begin studying the effects of medical marijuana on children. The couple's baby suffers from extreme seizures, and they say kids in the U.S. with access to pot are showing promising results. Shannon Martin tells us more about their little girl's condition. Um, yum, 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 yum. Kate is their everything, a blonde, blue-eyed nine-month-old who looks and sounds like a perfectly healthy baby girl. But then this happens. It's okay. It's been five minutes. Okay, I'm going to call my mom. Okay. Seizures take over her tiny body, lasting as long as one hour. It's terrifying. It's so terrifying that you almost have to, like, block it out. And it's going to get worse. She has Dravet syndrome, meaning she may never walk or talk. By the time she turns one in just months, the seizures could go. be constant. Five or six different kinds of seizures where she's either going to be seizing or sleeping. The syndrome is so rare it affects just one in 30,000 children. Kate is the youngest patient Sick Kids has ever diagnosed. Seizures can sometimes be fatal, uh, and these children have so many seizures that it could be that they pass away. Determined to find a way to keep their daughter healthy, the Poxins took their search online and discovered families in the U.S. finding hope with medical marijuana. This little girl in Colorado takes it by the spoonful. There's no psychoactive side effect. It's not psychotropic. No high because it's extremely low in THC. It's a special strain of pot only available in the States. For this family, it's a miracle drug. So it's greater than 99% seizure reduction. And it's amazing. But there are roadblocks to this medical marijuana. In Canada, the legal pot has too much THC for kids. The online petition is gaining hundreds of signatures by the hour, calling on officials to begin clinical trials and import the American medical marijuana. We cannot go by videos on the internet. We have to go by medical evidence. And the surprise to me is that if this truly has this miraculous effect, you know, it would spread like wildfire in our field because we're dying to find uh, treatments. Shannon Martin, CBC News, Toronto.